now we are showing all the post details and all the things is working fine but there is one problem here what is the problem is i will try to explain you for example let's say that i am in the lila lila description here so but for example let's say that i am catching this id okay i am catching this id let's go to into this one i will add a link here in such a way that see i will add here due router link okay router link go to view routing post details right so view routing post details i want to see the view routing post details now what i will try to do here so 2 is equal to slash post slash if i try to keep this one that's it right neq nz4 it will work so for example if i try to see here if i refresh this page so now whenever i change this one so it is getting stuck i don't know what will happen what is happening so let's go to the mm, this one gone again so here let's try to paste it again here in this one go, go away so let's go to the post here i am clicking on this so this for this one so this is the idea i have added so view routing post i want to see these details i click on the show post details here i am able to see go to view routing post details okay so when i click on this one when i click on this one see at the top we are able to see that id has been changed but we are not able to see those details but when i refresh this page what will happen see see now i am able to see the view routing details so now here if i try to go here and if i click on this one i am able to see the details but i want to see the view routing details when i click here i am able to see that this one id is changing but when i refresh this page only then i am able to get those details but i am not able to get this details when i click on this one so here what is happening is here is the component is already loaded so when you are when you have already loaded this component and you want to run again this created thing so created will call the life cycle hook created will call only one time when the component is created only already created component we cannot call it why because but here the route param is changing nothing is changing here the route param is changing when the route param changes we need to respond and again we need to get the details of that changed param id so what how can we do this one so there are so many ways how we can do it first one is i will try to show you first one is we can use the this dot dollar watch so there is a there is a property this dot dollar dollar watch and you can use here so it will take two anonymous functions as a parameter first one is which one i need to watch okay you need to watch this one params and after after changing what i need to do so you need to execute these all details so instead of duplicating this one i will try to keep it in another method methods to get post details so i can write it here get post details now i will paste it here entire thing now when this road param is changed so call this one so here i can use this dot get post details that's it okay post details so i am trying to call this one that's it so now afterwards so when the root params are nothing is changed means so here you can call this dot get post details why because i will try to show you so or otherwise i will show um, here i will write it instead of writing it here yeah so console dot log param changed okay so when this watch will call we'll try to see it so i am stopping this post details also so now i am going into the post thing i click let's go to the console okay, where is this console yeah i will go to the console let's see this one what is the errors nothing is there yeah so now i clicked on the description so here we are not loading anything okay fine but the watch is not calling here see the console what i have kept here the watch is not param changed what watch is not calling first time it will not call when the component is first time loaded now i will click on this one see now param changed so this one is calling so that means when the routing is changing then only it will call so that means when the routing is changed so i can call this get post details so param is changed call those get post details now take the latest param id and call again this one so now here what i can do let's go to the post details i will click on this one first time we are not able to load these details i will click on this view routing see now i am able to get those details now what i need to do so for the first time also i need to show those details 
so then only it will be nice right so first time when i want to show the details means in the created you can call this get dot post details again for the first time so here i can call it so that's it so now if you try to see the output so let's go to the post here so first time that this dot go this dot get post details will execute yeah i'm able to get those details now here param has been changed again it will load the view routing so this is how we can react to the route parameter changes in the same component so this is one way of doing it so another way of doing is so i will try to show you instead of using this one i can use the watch property which we have learned it earlier so watch property so for which one i need to watch this dollar route i need to watch it okay so watch for this dollar route so now what i can do whenever this one is changing call this this dot get post details so this one also works so here console dot log watch fired so i will try to do watch fired so we will check this one watch fired i am trying to check this one let's go to the post let's refresh it again yeah so now i am clicking on this one so i'm able to get this one all now if i click here see watch fired so this one this time this one is firing watch so this watch and this watch is one and the same only this one is the somewhat programmatic way we are writing and here in the options api format we are writing so this is this one like this also we can write it so another way also what we can do it is so now what i can do is what i want to show is so here let's go into the main.js and here we are having this post id right so we can send this post id as a props so we can keep this one as props as true so i am trying to keep as props as true let's go to the post item so here this time this id will be coming as a props so what i can do here so i take the props so props is coming as id okay now i can watch the id here so watch the id and we can call this this dot go post details so same thing we can call here so watch uh, console dot log i will try to show console dot log watching id okay props id or otherwise props id so now the same thing it will happen the same thing so this time we are getting the id as props so now there is no need to call the road params and all those things i can remove this one why because this dot id is available as a props this is as a props now if i try to show you the output let's go to the post so i am refreshing this page okay, refresh yeah this one i'll remove it okay, refresh what is happening yeah so now let's go to the post details now i'm able to see <clears throat> okay so that one is post id it seems so this one is coming as post id so post id so this one is post id we need to remember this post id so post id why because so we have given it as post id right post id this one is coming as props so post id okay fine so here also we can keep it as post id why because the props is coming as post id so fine let's go to the post again so now i am clicking on the eh, remove this one on so let's refresh it again Mm, fine so let's click on the show post details now i'm able to get these all details without any error i'll click on the view routing okay, what has happened so okay watch id we are watching this dot post details we are watching okay so watching prop side is not firing or what let's try to see so id we got it any qq so this one is updated what is that i did it watch ID. oh sorry this is my problem post id we need to watch this post id not that one so id we changed this one yeah now we are able to get the routing id i'll go again here i will click on this one see now we am able to get this one watching props id so these are the three ways how we can react to the dynamic routing params so one one method is we can use this dot dollar watch or otherwise you can directly watch the dollar route or otherwise you can send it as a props through and you can use it as a post id so like this post id so like this also you can do it so anyway we can do it let's go into the view js if you try to see here reacting to the param changes so first method i have shown you this dot dollar watch two anonymous functions it will take so this one is i'll leave it we will try to learn it afterwards oh not what okay they have given only one thing but i have explained you another two ways also three ways another two ways also i have explained you so like this also we can do it 
navigation guards and all those things you'll learn afterwards this is how we will be reacting to the rot routing parameter changes